The case against Corrales Ramirez has put a new focus on the importance of law enforcement agencies working together to catch criminals who cross state lines. This unit police arresting 51 year old Stephen Smirk in connection with a deadly stabbing in Virginia that happened nearly 30 years ago. Uh, Smirk was arraigned today in Schenectady County Court. Houston ABC's Karina Dominguez has the latest now on the investigation. Stephen Smirk is being held without bail at Schenectady County Jail as he awaits extradition back to Virginia, where he confessed to committing a crime nearly 30 years ago. Smirk was arraigned this morning, charged as being a fugitive from justice, and waived his rights to an extradition hearing. Officials in the Schenectady County DA's office said the communication between agencies in this extradition case has been smooth. The cold case arrest was described as justice finally being served by Virginia's Fairfax County Police Chief Kevin Davis. Doggedness is a powerful trait. Our cold case detectives have that trait in spades. Uh, I thank them for their diligence, and it's because of their diligence, it's because of their doggedness that, that we are here today making this important announcement. Davis said the detectives in the case did not anticipate the turn of events. Two Virginia detectives took a trip to Niskayuna in hopes of furthering their investigation. They said he happened to be taking out his trash, and that's when they struck up conversation with him. Shortly after they returned to their hotel, Smirk called them to confess to the crime, the 1994 murder of a 37-year-old Fairfax woman, Robin Lawrence. He talked about killing Robin, and he talked uh, a little bit about some, some more details that, that, I, that I won't go into, but it was a full confession. They anticipate Virginia will pick up the fugitive soon. Smirk has a hearing on the status of his extradition on September 29th. Smirk lived on a quiet street in Niskayuna and was a software engineer married with children. Davis said there's no reason to believe he's connected to any other crimes at this time. Reporting in Schenectady, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.